we are going to use a plastic drink bottle, the kind that water or soda come in, and we are going to use a heat gun, and we are going to use markers. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So, first thing you need to do, here are some of the beads that I made here. Very pretty, very glossy and lightweight, great for earrings or for embellishments on cards. Um, you need to cut the plastic out of your bottle. This is from a 2 liter bottle. It's a little bit thicker than the water bottle plastic. If you have water bottles, you can either, in the small bottle, you can cut like a ring out right around, or um, you can just cut strips out of the big bottles. I prefer the thicker plastic in the big bottles, so that's what I'm going to use here. And you just need to cut a strip of plastic. This is so much fun. They are so easy to make. You're also going to need a pair of needle nose pliers, too. Okay. First thing you want to do, and the nice thing about using um, plastic from a two-liter bottle is that it will lay flatter for you. Um, go ahead and color your plastic with a permanent marker. I am using a Pro Marker. It is amethyst. And this takes a long time to dry. So you can get some really cool effects on this plastic if you want. I'm going to put some dots of blue and you'll see that it's going to kind of kind of blend and look like polished stone here a little bit. And I actually like to heat it up while it's still wet and then the colors kind of blur around and look really cool. Alright, then you take a pair of needle nose pliers and you want to curl this up and you want to make sure you wrap it so that the wet ink is on the inside and the outside is just a plain plastic. That way you won't get your hands all inky you, and you won't wipe off all the marker you just put on there. Any permanent marker will work. Alcohol inks will work, but it's just really handy. A marker is a little more handy than the inks because you don't have um, to use an applicator or anything. Alright, so I'm holding this in a nice tight coil. And I'm going to turn on my heat gun and heat it up. You can see it start to shrink as the heat hits it. It looks really cool. Sometimes I like to flip it over. Just make sure the other end gets shrunk down too. All right. And let me see if I can put this up to you, up to the camera so you can get a close-up of it here. Ah, it's rolling away on me. Now you have a neat, cool, handmade bead. You can make tons of them, make some necklaces. It's a fun craft to do with the kids, and it costs you zero dollars. Thanks so much for watching.